Hello collectors, it's a brand new year, 2023. I'm off to a start here by reviewing my 2022 Boulevard Premium line of Hot Wheels cars. The entire collection is going to be reviewed today. Uh, I have not looked at these on my channel since wave one of five. So there's five waves of cars in the 2022 Boulevard series. A uh, very difficult series to complete, even here in Canada. Although they do show up at our local Walmarts. And I think it may be a Walmart exclusive, although I'm not sure, at least for Canada. I had to go all over the world, basically. Well, not literally, but I had to source these from all over the world uh, to put this collection together. A full, complete, five-wave collection. A total of 25 unique vehicles. Uh, some are repaints from the year prior, the 2021 collection of Boulevard cars. And just a little quick history, a backstory on Boulevard. This is a premium line of cars, as I mentioned. It's up there in the car culture sort of uh, echelon of cars. Same price, same quality, very detailed paint jobs and real rider tires, metal on metal body and base. Um, preceding this, there was Boulevard cars in 2021. That was four waves, so a total of 20 vehicles. And in 2020, there was also four waves. That was the um, reanimation of this series because it hadn't been seen as the Boulevard series since 2011 and 2012. Um, those series of cars were a replacement to the Garage Series premium cars at the time. So you had Larry's, Wayne's, and Phil's Garage cars, which was a very interesting selection of all sorts of vehicles, uh, as is the Boulevard series. There really is no rhyme or reason to what sort of vehicles they put into this collection. We've got everything from German classics to uh, British trucks and American muscle cars and everything in between. We've got Japanese uh, trucks, um, just a whole bunch of stuff, concept cars, and just a really cool collection. So I've got the whole collection here in duplicate. Uh, we are going to open up an entire series, the whole wave of cars, 25 cars getting opened up today for my uh, background display wall collection, which is how I like to display the cars. And again, the last time I looked at Boulevard cars with you guys was back early 2022, wave one of five at that time, uh, already opened up here on the table. And uh, we're, we've got the last wave of 2021 here. I'm not sure why I put those out, but they're here anyways. So we're gonna primarily look at wave uh, one through five of 2022. As we enter the new year in 2023, Boulevard does continue. And I am anxious as always to see what comes out. Uh, not so anxious for the cost of collecting these cars as they do seem to disappear from store shelves in my area rather quickly. And I know from talking with uh, fellow collectors that do look for these in the United States, they're not exactly easy to get there either. So a lot of people don't even bother collecting these because there just is so much to collect from Hot Wheels anyways. And who can blame them? I certainly don't collect everything anymore. Without further ado, let's get into the review of 2022 Boulevard Complete 25 Car Series. I apologize, I've made a mistake. I don't have any cars from the 2022 final series on the table here. Not sure why I thought I did, but in fact I probably have reviewed the first two series of these Boulevard cars with you guys, as that's what I have out on the table. We've got collector number 41 through 65. That encompasses all of the Boulevard cars released in 2022. You're going to see here, and indeed I do have triplicates of one of those waves. I think that is wave three, although I'm not sure just yet. Trying to get my bearings here as I set up this table and uh, video a while ago and just I'm getting to it now. Let's take a look at an example of one of the cars that you're going to see today. This is, of course, uh, Boulevard. So you've got that written up in the top right, premium in the top left. Unique picture of each car featured in the blister on the card back. Checkers on the bottom, the collector number on the far left. And there, of course, is a super detailed 70 Rover P6 Group 2. Don't think I have any of these in my collection. It could very well be a brand new casting. Uh, there were certainly a lot of new castings released in this wave, including, look at, there's the Aero Sculpt. That's a new casting as well. And, uh, of course, uh, bilingual English and French on these card backs, as they are commonly found in Canada more so than the United States. Not sure they're even found in the United States uh, department stores on the regular, but they have been found in Europe, Australia, and Canada, as well as a few other places potentially. We're going to go through each of these wave by wave. I'm going to recap by looking at those first two waves that are already opened up. 
And uh, then we're going to open up uh, 15 more cars to look at them loose with you guys here, as well as the card backs. Wave 1 in 2022 included quite a mix of interesting vehicles. I'm going to prioritize on the card art as we're going to look at the loose cars in just a moment following the card art, but we've got the Acura NSX GT3, the Volkswagen Drag Bus, the Baja Bouncer, the Volkswagen Deluxe Station Wagon, and the Nissan Laurel 2000 SGX rounding out collector numbers 41 through 45. So let's go ahead and take a look at these beauties. Already opened up for a little bit of a review. I'm not going to go ahead and pick these cars all up just yet, but I will spin them around for you so you can get a look at all sides, at least front and back. Now I did uh, indicate the bases are metal. Some of them are painted. We're not going to look at all the bases on these either, as there's just so many vehicles to look at here that we want to get through each and every single one of them. Ending with, of course, the last wave for 2022, which would be Mix 5. And uh, my favorite in this selection is probably going to be that Acura NSX, followed closely by the Drag Bus. Just so nice to get those Drag Buses. They're such heavy castings, and they do have a very unique opening feature, which the other vehicles do not have. Heavy body lifts up, exposing that chrome plastic engine. And uh, roll cage with a single driver's seat. Massive real rider tires on it. And I guess we'll just take that opportunity to turn it around, check it out. Huge exhaust pipe with parachutes below it. And we're going a little out of turn here, but oh well. Maybe we'll pick the cars up. Take a look at them close. Pardon my thumb being in the way of everything. But as you can see, we've got taillights detailed emblems, marker lights, and all the trim, in addition to these fantastic paint jobs. The Baja Bouncer. Only criticism for me here is it would have been nice to have two real riders on the back, but I know that's asking too much. It's for the spares, so I'm not complaining in the least. These are absolutely awesome renditions of these vehicles, often found in uh, other premium series but this is just such a nice set of vehicles and of course that little volkswagen station wagon or station wagon truck getting rad since 77 it says and a painted uh canopy roof really unique checkered paint job nissan laurel of course appealing to many JDM fans in particular, certainly vintage Japanese racing cars, uh, myself included. Note that these are right-hand drive, as they should be. Super cool. That's Mix 1. Let's move on to Mix 2. Mix 2 of Hot Wheels Boulevard was collector number 46 through number 50. Let's take a look at the card art first once again before we check out the loose cars. We've got the Volvo P220 Amazon Estate Wagon. Very nice uh, packaging and presentation on this ultra-realistic and very unique station wagon from the past. We've got the Lycan Hypersport. Extremely angular, high-performance car I don't know much about at all. Not sure if that's a new casting or not, but it's unfamiliar to me in my collection. Then we've got the 65 or 67 Austin Mini pickup truck pickup it says with a very nice little racing sort of paint job on it focusing of course on the card art but nice to see both at the same time if possible where the focus will permit on the camera land rover defender 90 super cool realistic paint job on this truck and rounding it all out we've got the 75 brie datsun sunny truck b120 with a matching paint job to the Vintage Racing Series Datsun 510 with uh, collector number 46, or paint job number 46 on it. Racing number, I should say. Uh, interesting that this is collector number 46 in the Boulevard Series, so if you have that car, quite a nice side-by-side. -side. Mind you, if you don't have it, then you're probably not going to want to know what it's worth on eBay right now. 
So let's go in for a close look at these cars in the uh, mint loose sort of condition that they are in. And once again, checking out the front first before I handle the vehicles and show you the back. Very nice details once again with those ultra realistic headlights, marker lights, door handles. And matching the car dart perfectly. A Lycan Hypersport. Wow, that looks like a very powerful car. Should have done a little bit of research on these. I did research this car a long time ago when its first release came out in that dark green. I believe that was Boulevard car of uh, 2021, although I'm not entirely sure. It could have been car culture, actually. Uh, either way, it's a very unique station wagon. And... Uh, not all that common these days, given that it's from the 60s, I believe. So let's go ahead and check all these cars out uh, up close. And uh, great details in there. Really not much more to say as the paint jobs and the cars speak for themselves. Probably of all these vehicles, the Land Rover Defender... It's going to be my second favorite in the bunch. Let's see if you can guess right now which is going to be my first. And then we've got this cute little car. Really unique. They've even got the uh, trim around the back window painted. No, it's not the Lycan Hypersport, although it is a close third. So obviously you've deduced that the Volvo estate wagon is my number uh, one favorite vehicle in this interesting lineup of vehicles. It's just nice to get another one of these. Even though I've seen it before in green, I welcome it back. I mean, it's slammed, but uh, it still looks very original. And I think Hot Wheels did a fantastic job with this casting. Well, actually, they did with all of the castings, but that one in particular speaks to me the most. Now, let's get on to mix three. Mix three. This may very well be my favorite mix of all five mixes, and I'll get into why in a moment, but pretty much it's because of the selection, obviously, of vehicles uh, really does appeal to me, and a lot of, well, at least several new castings, a couple new castings for me that uh, really interested me, including this Alfa Romeo 155V6 Ti. Let's see if we can get a focus on the car and the card back. I can't really capture the whole card back and the car and focus all that well. Well, maybe I can. Here we go. The Mercedes-Benz 2, uh, is this a, no, it's a 300 SEL 6.8 AMG. Also very interesting to me in this rally concept. And, of course, this one is I'm particularly fond of. It's the 73 Holden Monero GTS. And the reason why I'm so fond of that, I'll get into when I get to that car as we look at them loose. The 2020 Toyota GR Supra. That's going to appeal to a lot of uh, Hot Wheel fans out there and car fans. Myself included, but it's not my favorite. And the 2012 Corvette Z06 or Z06 for my American friends, Drag Racer with separately cast hood. And uh, let's take a look at all these loose. We'll start down here in order with that Corvette. Now it's a two-piece cast metal uh, body. The hood looks like it wants to open and I pulled and picked at it for a while, but I couldn't figure out how to open it or remove it from this casting and uh, for fear of causing any damage I, or excess fingerprints I decided not to continue as obviously I'm going to display it complete like that. Really interesting paint job on this car as you can see. Speed Society on the sides. Uh, then we've got the uh, Toyota Supra with Toyota emblems all over it. Or livery, I should say, not emblems. Toyota livery, while well, there's an emblem on the hood. And a big emblem on the roof. Exquisite details once again. The Holden. Now this very well may be my favorite car in the bunch. It is a new casting. 
I don't have any of these in my Hot Wheels collection, so I do believe this is the first time we've seen this car from Hot Wheels. It's uh, an Australian icon, iconic car. And uh, I'm going to just zoom out for a second here to show you something that may be familiar to fans of Mad Max movies. Where the 73 Holden, this is a green light, 1 24th scale rendition of it. Um, absolutely one of my favorite models in my 1 24th scale model collection, which is rather limited. This one, I believe, has opening doors. I'm not going to pick and pull at it because it's not a review of this car. But it is the MFP. This is the car that uh, Max drove, I believe, in the first Mad Max movie. There's three Mad Max movies. And uh, right-hand drive. It's got the window down. Yeah, there's the door opens on this car. Separately cast hood, steering wheels. But anyways, this is an iconic supercar from Australia. The last of the V8 Interceptors, as uh, Max used to proclaim, I do believe, or at least proclaimed once, or someone proclaimed it. Maybe it was Goose. Goose? Was it Goose? Anyways, supercar, and here we have a Hot Wheels version of it, perfectly renditioned, as far as I'm concerned. It does not have the uh, spoiler or fin on the trunk lid. But other than that, we'll pick that car up in just a moment and take a look at it. Let's move on. Sorry for the shakiness. I had to put that uh, other model down carefully in the background. Getting on to that uh, Mercedes 300 SEL. Really, really nice. We've seen this car a couple of times in the last year or two from Hot Wheels. One in a Team Transport uh, two-pack set. I don't know if I have that one. I wish I did. And uh, also, I believe in... Boulevard 2021, but love the addition of four-door cars to the lineup. We've got two of them in this mix as we pan on over now to the Alfa Romeo. I think this is a four, yes, it is a four-door car. Cast mirrors and everything, very heavy casting. And I think we'll just start there and work our way backwards. Let's take a look at this brand new casting. Really, really cool model. With a ton of details, gray roll cage, black interior. Looks like the roll cage uh, actually comes out the bottom of the base there as quadruple tailpipes. Very, very interesting model anyways. And uh, I look forward to seeing more of these cars, especially in the premium lineup. If it's not a brand new release, I apologize. But to me, it does not look familiar. And then we've got the uh, Mercedes. Awesome grill and headlight detail, the, all those rally fog lights on it. Again, it's a racing car, so it has a roll cage. The banner across the top of the back window, what a nice detail. Uh, Hot Wheels has really never made nicer cars, in my opinion. I mean, this line of cars in 2022, it's just beautiful, as was the car culture, but we're looking at Boulevard, so, and here we are. Uh, of the last two cars we looked at, I'd say it's an even tie for number two between the Alfa Romeo and the Mercedes, and the Holden taking number one position in my favorites from this mix, and realistically of perhaps of the entire wave of cars in 2022 Boulevard. Just such a sweet car. I wish I could get my hands on a couple more to do some customs, some Mad Max customs. And maybe one day I will, but they are pretty hard to come by. There's a lot of Aussie fans out there scooping those cars up where they can. And uh, the Toyota Supra is very nice. Check out those tailpipes. GR Racing on the license plate. Roll cage. I'm not sure. Did the last... Uh, did the Monero have a roll cage? It does. It does have a roll cage. Okay, so all the cars have a roll cage. It's very speed racing court sort of... Uh, themed mix of cars here got the uh, red plastic parachutes that make up part of the interior as you can see through the back window black interior black roll cage really well assembled hot wheels i have to say and check out that detailed engine with the four ported uh, blower hard my french if that's not the correct terminology i'm just uh, kind of winging this here but really cool looking hot wheel and uh let's uh Let's see what's in mix four now. Don't you dare.
Don't you dare. Just you stay right there. Okay. On to mix four. Mix four, collector number 56 through number 60. Again, working backwards in the uh, look at the card art. Before we take a look at these vehicles close up. Now, this is a pretty new casting, I do believe. I'm not sure if it's the first time we've seen this casting, but it's the Mercedes-Benz AMG E36 Estate. It may very well be a brand new release. However, I think it might be a second recolor. Not sure where we may have seen it before this, but I don't have any in my collection. That's the first for me. Then here is a car with a huge name and also new in my collection, potentially a brand new casting. It is the De Tomaso Pantero Grupo 4. And forgive me if I didn't say that right, I am not familiar with this car, although it looks like an iconic late 70s, perhaps early 80s rally car from Italy. Uh, just based on the colors of it, it's got the golf livery. We'll look at that car close up, loose in a moment. Then we've got the Toyota 4Runner. This is a very popular casting. Uh, first release in Boulevard 2021, metallic white. Now here it is, metallic green, a really dark metallic green. Almost looks black. You'll see as we look at it uh, loose that it is not black. The 78 Ford Escort RS 1800 MK2. I'm not sure, but I think that might be the first time we've seen this car in premium, and it looks fantastic. At least, again, in my collection. Uh, 71 Mustang Mach 1. Well, it's no stranger to the premium lineup. Here it is in a satin black finish. Uh, let's go down and take a look at the cars before we spin them around and check out some other cool details. Really nice rims on this Mustang. The badging on the front fender. Big five-spoke wheels. The Escort is definitely up there in my faves. In fact, it could very well be tied for number one in this case, believe it or not. Yes, uh, tied for number one as one of my favorite castings in this mix number four. I just think it looks amazing with all of the details that have been put onto it. Headlights, rally lights, and I guess I really have a thing for rally cars when it comes down to it. Uh, tied for number one is the Toyota 4Runner. As a longtime former owner of a 1991 Toyota 4Runner, which served me well, right up to 499,000 kilometers, not all mine, but still quite a, quite a good truck. And uh, to this day, I'm a huge Toyota fan. So we'll look that truck over in just a moment so we can check out the paint a little closer. The Pantero, I really do like this casting, and I think that's going to take number two. And I apologize, I don't know more about this car, really nothing. Uh, certainly something I'm going to look up. Uh, a very close tie, but uh, just sneaking in behind for number three in my favorites uh, is this Mercedes-Benz station wagon. Very close. It's almost a tie for number two, I would say, being a four-door station wagon. Love when Hot Wheels makes those. Uh, gloss black, very nice. And I look forward to other paint jobs that reveal more of the details of this car at first glance, because it is kind of hard to see everything when it's all black on black. All right, let's spin this car around and see if we can discover a bit more. Okay, it's a heavy casting, as they all are. Really nicely detailed headlights. It's got windows all the way around, which is kind of unique for Hot Wheels. AMG badging. Big fender flares on this car, so it's clearly been customized. Uh, and it's got those side panels. Now, the door lines don't extend down far enough. We're going to assume that this car is strictly meant for racing and uh, entry and exit of it is either through the sunroof or Dukes of Hazard style right through the window. Very cool car, nonetheless. Okay, the Pantero. Very sleek and fast Pantera. Am I saying that right? Yeah, Pantera. The De Tomaso Pantera. Number 351. Very cool car. Can't wait to learn more about this car. And uh, I feel like Hot Wheels has got this car perfectly renditioned. Check out the Goodyear good livery on it. 
What an exquisite model. Grupo 4. Just really nice weight to it as well. Imagine this on the racetrack. I wouldn't dare put this particular one on the racetrack, but if we ever see it mainline, I'm going to buy a handful of them. And the Forerunner. Well, here it is. An absolutely stunning paint job for the Forerunner. Check out the details on the lights. Gold Forerunner badging. That really neat tricolor pinstriping extending up the doors and uh, C pillar. Again, windows all the way around. So that's uh, something we're seeing more often from Hot Wheels. Superb details. Really nice rims for this truck. Great choice. And a lot of detail on the chassis. So we weren't going to look at the chassis too much, but look at that. We've got Calic converters, uh, transmission, skid plates, drive shafts, the spare tire. Really nice. And of course, all the details on the particular model. Now, the first edition of this truck has gone up tremendously in value on the secondary market as it was picked up and purchased in large quantities. So the reason why I ended up with three of this particular mix was because I was buying them from an international seller and uh, it didn't add any more shipping costs to get a third set. So I was like, well, why not? Why not? I'm buying two sets anyways, one to open, one to preserve on card. And uh, if it only costs me a little bit more for the cars, it's nice to save on that shipping because it is a lot. Why not? So here we are back at the uh, my favorite car of the bunch. And I guess it's just because I really like rally cars. And I really like this model. It's a great casting. And a really nice paint job all the way around. I think I think everyone can safely agree on that. It leaves nothing more to be desired. It's absolutely perfect and well the mustang mach 1 i mean it's a beautiful model i'm not a big fan of the wheel choice for this car although they are very nice and i think it would look better with a glossy paint job it's probably been seen with a glossy paint job before though either way i've seen this car a lot in the premium lineup as well as the main line uh, so for me it's probably the uh, fifth most interesting car out of the five and that's my nice way of saying the least interesting, I suppose. But it is a really nice model, and uh, I love the car. I love displaying it. I just feel like there could have been potentially uh, another choice for Mattel to choose in this already exquisite, exclusive line of cars. All the same, it's absolutely a fan favorite for anyone that loves Mustangs, and I do love my Mustangs. Without further ado, let's continue on to the fifth and final wave or mix of five vehicles. The fifth and final mix of 2022, collector number 61 through 65. Uh, an interesting assortment yet again of all sorts of cars, both real and uh, fictitious. We start out with, uh, well, we're not starting out, but we're looking at number 65 first. That's the custom 70 Chevy Nova seen once before in boulevard 2021 perhaps elsewhere as well but this casting is relatively new to me in my collection as far as i can remember then the arrow sculpt collector number 64 this is a fictitious rendering of a vintage race car um entirely zamac with no paint or livery on it a very interesting model though and it does feature the suggestion of a driver's helmet in it which is rare. We've got the 2016 Subaru WRX STI, likely to be a fan favorite, looking very realistic here in a flat gray, well, it's not flat, a glossy gray paint job and those uh, iconic copper colored wheels. A four door car I'd like to make note of in this series, as well, another four door car, a 70 Rover P6 Group 2, yet another rally car. And I am 99% sure this is a brand new casting, as I do not have any of these in my collection so far. Quite a cool piece. And rounding it all out, number 61 is the 2018 Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5. This car is absolutely gorgeous. Let's go in for a look at this new Mustang. And, uh, wow. Talk about a paint job. This thing has racing livery all over it. So many different sponsors. I'm not even going to 
try to make mention of them all. You can see how many different realistic sponsors there are on this Mustang. And check out these chrome rims. Those may very well be new wheels for 2022. I'm not 100% sure, but they look pretty new to me. On over to collector number 62. This one is probably going to be, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to make it official. This is my favorite car in this mix 5. And uh, definitely one of my favorites of the whole Boulevard wave or collection of cars in 2022. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, once again, biased towards rally cars. Uh, number two for me, as far as favorites, will be the Subaru, which we have here. Great rendition of it. Could not look more realistic. Check out the mirrors cast onto it. All the window trims. The proper choice of rims and just a terrific looking car. Aerosculpt, although brand new as far as castings go and uh, quite interesting. Uh, I think it's very interesting. I'm going to leave it at that. It's not my favorite casting in the mix, but it certainly has its place, and I think it's a beautiful model. Very well done, and nice to see it in Boulevard. It's exactly where it belongs to make its first appearance into the Hot Wheels lineup of castings. Uh, the Nova, very cool. I mean, I prefer a, a more normal Nova, but this is a very kind of jazzed up, Rendition with those giant fender flares. I guess we'll just go ahead and pick this car up now that we're at the end. Oh, I'm going to do it with the left hand as that's what I was doing before. And yeah, so we got these uh, very deep dish rims and tires on it, which maybe that's part of the reason why I'm not fonder of the car. I just feel like the fender flares are really wide, and perhaps they are in real life too, but I love the uh, standardized, the standard version of this car without the racing stuff on it but all the same it's a great casting and i'm sure it is uh fairly realistic to the car it represents terrific details on the front and of course all the window trim the wipers and a beautiful beautiful paint job on this car all right that Brings us on to the Aerosculpt now. I don't really want to handle this car too much because it is Zamac. And uh, I don't want to leave any fingerprints on it. I will, of course, polish all of these cars after handling them. Check out that smiley face on it. Beautiful. So we are going to check it over. Four-spoke rims. Very, very uh, aerodynamic. Another car I'd love to get a handful of for the race track, Hot Wheels track, and uh, see what it can do because that would be just too much fun. Even the window is die cast, so almost no plastic on this car, then a tiny bit of interior in the wheels. And number 63, the Subaru. Wow, beautiful job on the headlamps, of course. You got the little uh, indentation or opening in the window for the uh, passenger of the rally car, the co-driver, I should say, to do pass notes through. Because the windows would be uh, not the roll-down variety on a rally car. Although this one doesn't have any rally livery. Perhaps it's just getting ready to go out for its first race. I really like it. you got the same uh, window port on the driver's side. There's probably an official name that I'm not using correctly here. But uh, all the same, absolutely wonderful model. That's my number two in this mix. And here it is, the uh, Rover. Now this, I believe, is a British car. And what a cool looking, uh, obviously, performance modified Rover, as these would have been family saloons in real life. Uh, perhaps equipped with a variety of engines, maybe a very powerful one. I don't know much about the Rover, and yet another Hot Wheel that has inspired me to do some research on a classic car. Or just a car in general. As that uh, Lycan is not a classic, but also very interesting to me. Anyways, we've got a roll cage in here. Four-door car. Great wheel choice for this car. Beautiful paint job. My number one favorite in this selection, even though I know nothing about this car other than it came from Britain, is the Rover. 
Now let's check out the Mustang. All those details on it. Beautiful job painting the taillights. Providing so much depth to the uh, realism of this car by not only painting the taillights, but as you can see, the uh, die cast metal itself matches the shape of the tail lenses on this 2018 Mustang. No roll cage in this one, interestingly. No roll cage. Well, we've just looked at 25 premium Hot Wheels Boulevard cars from 2022. I'm going to finish this video off by assembling them all in a parking lot, similar to what I've got going on over here, although I'm out of room for the fifth and final wave. And uh, we're going to take one final look at the Boulevard cars I have in my Plano cases, which I've just taken off the wall. There they are hiding down on the floor. Those are the 2021 and 2020 releases with only uh, five cars out of all two years so that would be a total of uh, 40 cars not in the cases as for some reason I only bought a single set and didn't open them up so I do have the full complete collection just not open uh, let's get into that final look at these cars all together and here we are, all of the cars out on the parking lot. Let's just go in for an overview, and then we're going to skim by all of these cars. Starting with number 46 and ending with, uh, or sorry, 41 and ending with 65. And uh, I was searching for the final missing set, as I'd mentioned in my 2020 Boulevard sets. A lot of Hot Wheel boxes to look through, and look, lo and behold, I found my vintage racing uh, Datsun Brie 510, I do believe, and check it out. It's right next to the little sunny pickup, and that is an expensive car these days. I managed to buy these back when they were new, and I have not one but two. I've never opened one, so far as I can remember, so I think I just bought a duplicate set and never got around to opening them. I don't know that I would be able to open it now. I surely would love to. Certainly not happening in this long video. Uh, I've got some more bonus material in just a moment. Let's go in for one last pan over of all these awesome cars. And uh, here out on the rollout parking lot. We've got them in their segments of five. And uh, let me know in the comments when you get a chance which of these five mixes of cars is your choice. If you could uh, put them in order of best to least desired and also if you like to let me know which of these cars is your favorite i would be curious to know that as well sort of a polling of these uh cars which which ones hit the top marks in the polls certainly i think that the mix four that we're looking at currently is probably a pretty close tie for me with mix three that's the one with the holden i was mentioning earlier it's hard to say. I don't know. They're all such good mixes, really. I mean, certain cars in each one of them, I wouldn't be able to live without. So, that being said, I don't really know. But uh, just a lot of cool cars here. Let's finish this video off by looking at all of the cars released in the Boulevard Series 2021 as well as 2020. We're going to go backwards through time here, I guess. Uh, this is 2021 here, filling the frame of the camera at the moment. So I've got the sets vertically, all five vehicle sets, four mixes. This was the uh, first wave of 2021, second wave, third wave, and the fourth wave. So there is the Forerunner that I was mentioning. That's the first release of the Forerunner that we just saw in dark metallic blue. And let's just see if there's any other notable cars that are familiar. Well, there's that Nova in the race format, now in a flat or gloss enamel gray. I don't know why I keep saying flat whenever I see gray. Uh, in addition to that, we've got the Corvette with that two-piece die-cast body in uh, deep metallic blue. Again, Speed Society, so slightly different. But similar graphics on it, interestingly. It'd be nice to put a side-by-side -side to that. But right now, we're just looking at these. Now, this was a really cool first wave, I feel like. Uh, we do have a Subaru 
looking really cool. That metallic blue and yellow. Well, oh, don't drop it. And uh, that's the same as the one that we just saw in the gloss gray. We've also got the VW Drag Bus with the opening uh, body. Okay, let's look at the 2020 release. So the first wave here, and this is the wave I didn't have opened up, but I've since found four out of the five cars, and I know I've just misplaced the fifth one, but we'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, the first wave includes the Silverado truck, the Bone Shaker, the Skyline, Outlaw Volkswagen, and the uh, 67 Chevy uh, Heavy Chevy. Or Chevy Camaro. So some pretty cool vehicles in there. This one for me was definitely number one. Had to get myself a few of these trucks. And luckily, this first wave was pretty common in my local Walmart here in Canada. I managed to get uh, at least a full duplicate set of those, obviously, to open one set up. And then a couple extras for customs and whatnot, although I haven't customized anything. So mix three, before I get on mix, uh, or mix two, before I get on to mix three and mix four of that 2020 release can be found right here. So indeed, I did have um, two full sets and I have a vague memory of having collector number seven. That's the one that's missing, should be right between. Well, these are all out of order, but anyways, on the back of the card art, you can see the Nissan Silvia S15 in Formula Drift uh, livery with the blue and red wheels. I do have that car somewhere, but it came out, get this, in two different card backs. So when you bought a sealed set, you got two different card arts for the same car, and hence I wasn't able to open them up at the time, and I think, I guess I just stalled completely and didn't open anything up. I do have them somewhere, I can't find them, and I've just, since making this video, gone ahead and bought another set of two, so that when I do find it, I can actually open up one of those four cars, at least, and we're going to fill all five spaces here. Now, if you're asking what are these cars down here, unrelated, uh, these are the plastic base, uh, I don't know, some sort of eight-car Walmart uh, exclusive, either racing or exotic. I'm not sure. There's a whole bunch of different cars, but not part of this review, and that one is not part of the set either. That's why it's backwards from, I think, Fast and the Furious. Not really sure what. So that is the Boulevard set. I'm going to open up. A few of these cars, uh, I wish I could open up one of those, but I'm just not going to do it today. That's completely unrelated anyways, and I'll finish it off by showing you this full case. And there we have it, all of the Boulevard cars, minus the Sylvia, now in place. Uh, Nina's just come to visit. But yeah, we've got the uh, some really cool cars in here. The only reason why this one is backwards is because it literally won't fit the other way. It's such a long super bird it won't fit facing the other direction but i have these five cars facing a different direction from those five cars so that i can differentiate which release the uh, cars are from while just quickly looking at the wall display okay well with that i think we're going to call it oh i just gave her a spark we're going to call it a day it's a long video i hope you enjoyed it and we've got lots more videos coming in uh the remainder of 2023 as we're just getting started here and uh, Nina will also be uh, featured in many of those videos, won't you, Nina? All right. Happy hunting, everyone. Happy hunting.